beautiful amazing people welcome back to my channel my name is wendell if it's the first time of coming across my video you're highly welcome good morning good afternoon good evening whenever you're watching me i'm a youtuber based in zurich switzerland yes so in this video today i'm just going to be talking about a video i watched yesterday that wonder maya made where he went to interview the owner of um innocent motors so if you don't know who innocent is he's a nigerian an Igbo nigerian man that is based in Inewi, um in the eastern part of nigeria He's based in Inewi in the eastern part of Nigeria. He produces cars, like real cars, like the way you have your Aldis and BMWs and all these beautiful cars. That's how he produces innocent car, which is durable and fit for the African road. And it got me thinking, like, why is it that in the West here, nobody recognizes this car or the effort that this man is is putting selflessly single-handedly putting to produce these cars in africa he produces everything in africa and another thing that, that got me thinking was how humble he was the way he was speaking as in he looked like this kind of people that you would just walk past them on the street just make an assumption oh who be this man said that was how he looked he was so humble he was so down to earth like you could hear the sincerity from his voice and i was like wow even with this man's money humility humility you see a lot of people or a lot of us like last night i watched that video last night and i couldn't sleep i was just going through weights in my head and i'm like why is it that you know these adage that they say the empty vessel makes the loudest noise yes the empty drum makes the loudest noise most people that brag most people that are so engrossed in money most people that all their life is centered about money when you actually look at them they have nothing but i saw this one and i was thinking and i said why is it that you never i've never seen a news on bbc on cnn on al jazeera about this man or the car is being produced in nigeria actually he doesn't produce just cars he makes motorcycles that was what he started he makes plastic and all these things are based in the eastern part of nigeria and you hear about dangote you hear about dangote in africa because he's a northerner but this man is an eastern Igbo man Nigerian, even Nigerians are not even pushing his brand that much because he's an Igbo man. And I'm like, why? But we're all Africans. Even when the Maya that is going around showing Africa, showing, um, putting, um, light on Africa about uh, African agriculture, about African industry, people are still talking and bringing him down. And imagine if he's, if he was a Westerner that was doing that interview, people would appreciate it more that is coming from an African person, showing African, being proud of Africa, being proud, like, it really made me proud of being a Nigerian in the world today. And according to um, um, Innocent, during the interview, because when the man actually interviewed him, he asked him questions. It was so such a very relaxing, humble, down-to-earth interview. Like, he wasn't like his shoulders wearing up here. He was so relaxed with Wanda Maya. And he was like, um, you don't have to go abroad to make money. That most people abroad, which is true. I live in Switzerland. There are a lot of people here that they are not doing anything. But it's the pride, the shame of going back to the motherland. And he was like, Africa is on top roots. Africa, when all of us live, who is going to develop Africa? Africa is such an on top road. So he was re like really promoting Nigeria, promoting the Igbo land, promoting the African culture. And for me, one thing again I love about Innocent was the fact that his factories are all in the East. Like if you go to Lagos, you see all these big, big houses that are built by Igbo men. They take those jobs there. But in the Eastern part of Nigeria, our youth are committing crime. You go to the north, you see houses, you see factories built by Igbo people. But you go back to the east or the village, the youths there, they don't have anything to do. They don't have, they're all doing crime and people just assume crime. When you move all those factories from the eastern and you go to the north, like in the north is full of, like in Nigeria, the northerners are more known or pronounced for being wealthy and stuff like that because... They built all their factories. They built everything in their homeland. 
You don't see a Hausa man that goes to the east to go and open a factory or open a business or a wealthy northern man in the east. They don't do that. So really, watching Innocent yesterday, it really, it really arose a lot of um, thinking in me. I got thinking, and I'm like, yeah, I'm really proud of this man. I'm really proud of what he's doing in the eastern or Nigerian, um, in the eastern part of Nigeria. I'm really proud of him as an Igbo man. I'm really, and the thing is, he's not even. He didn't even go to school. Like he's a secondary school dropout. He didn't even go to school. So you see people going to acquire education and education. At the end of the day, your service, you're working for somebody. You're working for somebody. So please, can we help to talk more about African products, Nigerian products? Be proud of who you are. Be proud of where you're from. Talk about your culture. Talk about your language. Talk about your tribe. Shed more light on your tribe. We should not be ashamed of where we come from. Because it's being ashamed of it. That's why everything is like that. But the funny thing is that Nigerians or Africans are ashamed or like... like would I say a shame of being Nigerians, but when it's time to go on holiday, they prefer to go on holiday. So Nigeria should not be just a holiday destination. Nigeria, we should, I think we need more of Innocent in the world today. We need more of Wandamaya in the not. He's actually a Ghanaian, he's not Nigerian, but he felt so, I was just watching him, I think it was Rice and Ofa who they gave to him, the way he was eating it, I was just cracking up, and I said, Africa, we are one, we are united. There is no point hating on each other, saying, oh, this person is Ghanaian, oh, this person is Nigerian, this person is Kenyan, even within the Nigerian community, we're still saying this is Igbo, this is Hausa, but that is how it is. But my point here is, like, in Africa, there are a lot of opportunities in Africa. There are people that are making it in Africa, but it's so sad that because of the culture or the tribe or the, or the place where you come from, nobody wants to push you, which is really, really sad. I think we should come together and make Africa great, Africa big Wandamaya, keep doing what you're doing you're doing amazing like for us here like if not because you went to do that interview i didn't really know that this man had five factories in nigeria he had a plus he has a plastic factory that he started from scratch where he processed factory i saw like dummies you know dummies that you used to dress um all this um wig dummies or clothes there he makes um gp tank he makes plastic so he said his pride is walking on the street and seeing his products he has a motorcycle for industry industry this is not a warehouse that he brings from abroad and process it there no these are done in, and in in a way these are done in the eastern parts of nigeria that man really really deserve an accolade like when they are giving noble prize he's one of those people that they should give a noble prize to like i was just watching him and i was like oh this like he's such a like you could see the pride in him you could see the joy you could see the happiness that he's not doing it just because he wants to do it he's doing it because he he felt there was a need for it he felt that there was a gap he felt that there was a space for that and i am really really thankful for that thank you Wandamaya, for shedding light on africa or for shedding light on nigeria because i've been watching your videos there are a lot of things that you have showed that i didn't even know they existed in nigeria or places or industries or stuff like that so thank you so much you're doing amazing if you haven't subscribed to my channel what are you doing please subscribe to my channel like subscribe comment turn on the notification for uh, notification bell i say notification form i've been feeling from the whole day today i'm sorry about that turn on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever i post a video thanking you here you can if you if you're new to my channel you can go through my channel you definitely find something that suits you or entices you thank you so much and i wish you an amazing day till we meet again god bless you bye i'm proud to be nigerian one nigerian one africa one ibu ibu amaka kaina bye